But let's begin this hour with a developing story out of northern Iraq. Canadian forces have been in a firefight with ISIS troops. That news coming from the Department of National Defense in a briefing earlier this evening. Here's what we're being told. The attack happened yesterday afternoon near Mosul and carried on through the night. Kurdish forces were attacked by hundreds of ISIS troops. Canadian special forces who were on the ground training the Kurds returned fire. Two CFA teams were called in and struck an ISIS position. No Canadians were killed. The attackers employed indirect artillery fire, suicide vehicle-borne improvised explosive devices, and ground troops in an attempt to break through the KSF defensive line. There were no Canadian Armed Forces casualties as a result of this operation. Unfortunately, our courageous KSF allies sustained a number of losses and would like to extend our condolences to the Kurdish people. That said, both the KSF and our deployed Canadian Armed Forces personnel performed extremely well and the ISIL attack was defeated. The CBC's Catherine Cullen was at the briefing in Ottawa and she takes us through some of the questions that this firefight has raised. Well, I think some of the bigger questions that are going to be at play here, and certainly the question I, I did ask uh, to DND was, you know, talk to us more about the degree to which or not this is considered combat by Canadian forces troops here. We heard them talking about the fact that they were involved in firefights and something that's been a big discussion in Canada as we've talked about the shape of this mission is the fact that we have approximately 69 of these military advisors in northern Iraq. It is not supposed to be a combat function but there has been discussion going on for months about the nature of the work that we were doing when when we learned for instance at a certain point that they were helping paint isis targets uh helping helping planes in their bombing missions what precisely are canadian